EOD podcast number one. What is the goal of the POD? The POD provides a class structure for imagining a new form of society. This society is called, collectively, Atlantean or Enochian, because it is believed to have been prior to the global deluge that this idea originated. The goal of the POD is thus to restore Atlantean democracy, meaning to establish a global democracy. The POD's system proceeds as such. Newborns of nine months of age are considered citizens. From that time on, they are guaranteed rights. This begins with voluntary education to heighten the level of psychic ability, provided free by the state, opted into or out of as one wishes. This comprises the first degree of the POD, the Contributors Club, who are eligible for graduation from training whenever they choose via the first degree initiation ritual. The moral of the first degree initiation ritual is simple. Everything is optional, nothing is necessary. This forms the cornerstone of civic duty in Atlantean society as imagined in the POD. Taxes, education, work in general are all voluntary. All aspects of life are provided for already so that no one needs to do anything, and all progress proceeds solely from those who want to do so. From the first degree of basic citizenship afforded to all after birth, follow three further rituals. The rank achieved by a citizen for participating in each of these rituals as a student of their drama determines the roles they can play in Atlantean global government. Those who pass the first of these rituals may enter limited public offices, and those who pass the third ritual may apply for the higher offices in the land. The first ritual teaches the essential drama, that of good versus evil. It explains that fiction and lies are considered evil, while honesty and facts are good. The second ritual teaches the good of groups of people working together to achieve any ends. The third ritual teaches the highest social moral to have faith in the essential equilibrium of all cycles. After one has achieved the rank they desire by participating in these voluntary and free rituals, they may choose to pursue either a religious or a political career. The separation of church and state under this system is rigid. However, the acting head of the church is also one of the seven chief executives. Thus, you can enter a religious career hoping to enter politics in the end only if you hope to become the Pope. Those who enter politics may do so directly after the first of the three inner rituals has been studied. There are three branches of global democracy, one the executive branch, two the judicial branch, three the senate or public forum. There are seven chief executives, one of whom is also the head of the church. There are 13 jurors on any bench. There are 23 elected senators in the public forum. The seven chief executives are elected from among each degree and are comprised of one citizen who has passed the first level of degree of initiation, two who have passed the second, three who have passed the third, and the Pope, who also serves as chief banker. The 23 citizens in the public forum, or Senate, are comprised of these seven chief executives, plus a Congress of 13 who have passed the second level, or degree, as well as three public members whose votes count twice. The 13 members of the juries are drawn by lot from among the public forum citizen senators, such as the entirety of how Atlantean democracy works. The reason the numbers are given these values is that these are odd prime numbers, which results in both a check of authority between branches of the global democracy, as well as a balance against tie votes. Those who wish to pursue the religion of this culture follow a totally different path, following their passage of the third ritual. There are five bond levels following the initial rituals that do not contain any ritual, but are comprised of a curriculum of knowledge lectures. 
Each of these lectures applies to a separate order of the esoteric mystery tradition over the last 2,000 years. Thus, each knowledge lecture covers a span of 400 years. The oldest of these cults gives way to allow the entrance of a new world order to the uppermost fifth bund order each eve between eons. These bund orders comprise five competing ideological groups within the main religion of the global democracy. Three of the five parties can participate in the religious ceremonies, while the other two remain scholastic only. At the local level is the church comprised of six priests, one of the latest bond degree, two of the second from topmost, and three of the middle rank out of the five in all. The next layer above this is that of the monastery comprised of ten monks, in the order of two, three, and five as per previously. Lastly, in the papal court comprised of fifteen, in the sequence three, five, and seven. These orders become more specified the higher one ascends. There are complex legal stipulations written into the global democratic constitutions regarding the election of the Pope. There can be one major world religion based on this structure to some degree even now, given telepathy. However, this situation can also be brought about at any time by simply fusing all the wealth of the world's banks and religions into a single state-operated account. This completes the essential material of the POD, generated in 2006 by myself, Jonathan G. There is also extensive historical documentation in the POD material, including a 123-page long biography of Pythagoras. Please enjoy. POD Podcast Number 1